Okay, so hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone who's tuning in. On behalf of Pio Petro, Arab Oil and Gas Academy, and SPE Egypt section, I would like to welcome you to today's session. So my name is Shahid Bajet. I'm a third year petroleum engineering student in Kurdistan, Iraq, and I'll be your moderator for today. Um, so before we start, I would like to remind you to please register to the appropriate Google Classroom to keep up with your homework and quizzes. And then also please submit your homework and quizzes before the deadline. As always, keep the chat box professional and ethical, but for today's session, please be active. Um, interacting with us is very much welcomed. So today's session is the very first session in the English Listening Enhancement course. And we have a great lineup of instructors to guide, through, guide you through it. Um, so I would like to ask the instructors to briefly introduce themselves, uh, just to make it a bit more personal. Um, and we'll start, I guess, with Emily. So hi, my name is Emily Hardy. Um, I'm currently a PhD student at the University of Oklahoma Health Science Center in Oklahoma. Um, That's perfect. Okay. Um, maybe we can just keep it going and just like, would someone unmute or mute like, and you know, like just keep it like flowing. Um, so maybe right now we can hear from Yusuf El Waziri. Yes, my name is Yusuf El Waziri. I'm uh, <clears throat> uh, graduated from Texas Tech uh, with a petroleum engineering degree. And that's where I met Dr. Uh, El Garhi. Um, and right now I'm working as a petroleum engineer in West Texas and East New Mexico. Uh, all right. Um, hello, everyone. My name is uh, Yusuf al -Garhi. I am still in seventh grade, 13 years old, um, I, and I live in Ohio. Hi, everyone. It's Pietro Arrozio here. Um, I'm a, I am a mechanical engineer. I work for Baker Hughes in Houston, Texas, and she is an anchor and reporter, and she works in the wonderful city of Beaumont. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Rahima Babaeva, and I'm a first graduate of University of Aberdeen. Thank you. All right. Thank you guys for introducing yourselves. Um, just before we start, I would like to also like break down the structure of today's session. So we'll have like a few different parts, um, basically challenges, and we will listen to something and then answer some questions. So please be very um, attentive to what you are going to watch or listen. And yeah, then we'll like ask you a question, those questions, and we will have a poll in the chat box that you need to answer. And then we'll get some answers from our instructors as well. So yeah, um, let's start with the first video. What is a pioneer? Historically, it looks something like this, or this. But at Marietta College, we believe a pioneer is someone more. A pioneer is a creator, a visionary, a champion. A pioneer doesn't shy away from a challenge. They live in the moment, boldly face their obstacles, and thrive. A pioneer is an artist, an innovator, a leader. A pioneer thinks differently, always searching for new opportunities and new ideas. They lead boldly and want to make an impact for themselves and the community. A pioneer is an adventurer, a dreamer, a doer. They set goals and get to work, motivated by their fellow pioneers who only settle for the best. And after they make their goals a reality, they never stop reaching and achieving. I pioneer the planetary science major and the next generation of women in science. I pioneer the newest era of athletic tradition and excellence. I pioneer entrepreneurship within the arts in rural West Virginia. I pioneer as a music therapist with a focus on community involvement. I pioneer bold career choices and taking risks. I pioneer. Okay, so that was the first video. And I believe that the question is in the poll section of 
the Zoom chat or something. Um, so yeah, the question is, a pioneer is a creator, a visionary, a champion. And the ad was talking about A, Texas Tech students, B, Colorado School of Mines students, C, Marietta College students. Okay, the overall answers went to Marietta College students by 92%. And then the other two both got 4% each. So now we'll go to the instructors and see what they think. Maybe you can start with Rahima. Uh, I, I, I'm i sure that the answer is Marietta College students. Yeah, uh, our audience are right. Is right. That's great. Maybe more like responses. Let's like create a conversation between us. Yeah, I, um, I, I prefer it was Texas Tech representing <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it's uh, it is Marietta College, and uh, they call themselves pioneers. Yeah, no, and also you know the, the watermark logo on the video might might have helped. Yeah. Uh, I I could recognize a lot of the things since I practically live right next to campus. I could recognize campus. I recognize some of the people in the video, so I'd say it would be very Marietta College. Yeah, 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 totally. Yeah, that was great. Um, maybe now we can go to the next video. So yeah, video number two. Um, basically, when I heard about the COVID-19, I decided to stay on campus because I live like in a rural community. So my Wi-Fi access isn't as good as it would be on campus. I was afraid it would impact my academics. Um, before midterms and spring semester and spring break, I was on good standing academic wise and I didn't want to jeopardize that by going home. I went on spring break and it seemed very normal. Like I was going to return back to campus. I was going to have the rest of the spring semester, like I was promised, like all the upperclassmen talked about having. And then it basically just got taken away in an instant. And all of a sudden, everyone started moving out of the house. And like I had girls coming back. And we knew we weren't going to be on online only from now on. So it's like, OK, well, it'll still be somewhat normal. Because at first, a bunch of the girls in the house were like, oh, I'm going to stay on campus too. And so it felt, oh, so it's going to be just normal, just online classes and actually more time to hang out with my friends. So it sounded great. And then that turned for the worse when everyone started leaving, going home. And then there's nobody on campus. And you just trying to make the best of what you can. I don't have a routine now. <laughs> That's really bad for a college student. But normally I would get up before the crisis hit at nine o'clock every day because my, all my classes started at 9.30. And now I get up at, depending on what time I have what class and if I have to be online for that class. So normally I sleep in now, which is kind of nice, but it throws everything off. Okay. So that was the video. I believe we have two questions for this. Yes. So the first question is, what is the student name? So A, Sydney, B, Emily, C, Rihanna, D, Celia. And the second question is, the student was talking about the impact of the plague pandemic on her academic life. So true or false? Okay, so we have the um, answers in. So Emily won by 54%, Sydney was close by by 41%, Brianna was 5% and then Celia was zero. Um, <laughs> the second question, uh, True won by 76%. So let's go to our instructors now. Oh, that was a tough one. <laughs> so we... Um, I, I thought that it was Emily, but then I think she, her name is Sydney and, and, and I will not context, you know, I'm not native. So uh, if she says Sydney, I, I go with that. I thought her name was Sydney as well. Again, that was a, that was a tough one. Uh, just trying to focus on the context and not on, and, and not on the name of the student, but, uh, but, uh, I'm going to go for Sydney. Yeah. Uh, I also agree with uh, Yusuf. It's, it was Sydney. Right? Yep. 
Yeah, um, in the beginning, in the beginning, um, I was like just trying to focus on everything so hard that I could just like see Sydney just right there. Um, so I mean, it kind of would make sense for it to be Sydney. <laughs> Wonderful. We are aligned on that then. Okay. <laughs> and I, I think the second question is super tricky as well. Um, because she was talking about the, the pandemic effect, but I don't think it's the plug. I mean, the plug was in the middle age, in the middle age in, in Europe, right? Yeah. yeah. Emily, I see you nodding. Where, where is your head at? <laughs> I didn't even like notice the word plague. Um, <laughs> so I was just, I just associated pandemic. Uh, and so she was talking about the effect of the pandemic on her life, but not the plague. We weren't, we weren't alive at that time. Um, yeah, questions are tri that's tricky. That's a good point. <laughs> tricky questions. Mm. <laughs> also, I, I paid attention to pandemic and academic life, but it's coronavirus. <laughs> kind of is yeah. the plague. <laughs> I agree. It was a very tricky question. Very well thought of. <laughs> um, so yeah, we. I think we can go to the next part. And I believe it is the third video. So yeah, let's watch it. Hey guys, my name is Beth and I'm a super proud member of the Beta Xi chapter of Alpha Z Delta. We're so excited to show you our beautiful home on campus. Built in 1855 and then the home to one of Ohio's governors, George White. Uh, we now can fit 19 women comfortably in this beautiful home and we are so excited to show you inside. Alpha Z Delta was founded over 125 years ago in 1893 and is actually one of the oldest women's fraternities around. Our chapter room is where we hold meetings, ceremonies, and special events with our amazing alumni and even our current sisterhood. The den is a casual room where we hang out and watch TV, but it's also used to keep all of our trophies. We take great pride in consistently having a strong GPA each semester, including several sisters with 4.0s. Our dining room is an amazing area more than just for food. We craft and study in there too. Living in the house means you have a space with your sisters that you can really make your own. And our house mother, MB, is wonderful. She's been here over 15 years. Our side porch is a perfect outdoor place to spend time with each other and just hang out. I've lived with a bunch of different sisters throughout my semesters in the house and each one has been such a special experience. Um, I've grown so much closer with all those sisters and created memories that I don't think any of us will ever forget. We really value embracing sisterhood and really being yourself and bringing together tons of different unique personalities. Alpha Z Delta helps me reach my full potential by being surrounded by sisters who also care about academics. Our national philanthropy is Autism Speaks. Autism is very close to me because my little sister has autism and I'm so glad that our chapter has brought me closer to an important cause. We value courage, graciousness, and peace and we try to live by that every day. Okay, I hope you guys watched that attentively. Okay, so the questions are, Alpha Xi Delta is something like a dorm for students, young ladies at Marietta College, so true or false. And then the second question is the house of Alpha Xi Delta has been built in 1955. Again, true or false? Okay, so the first question got 74% for true. And the second question got 56% for false. Great, okay. Um, let's hear from the instructors. I saw you guys taking notes, so that's like, great. <laughs> let's see, who wants to start? If this was the case, I would fail. Yeah, you, you're not alone, you're not alone. I probably would have failed too. <laughs> so I, I didn't take notes, but uh, yeah, the, uh, I, I, I heard that the sorority itself started in like the 1800s, but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't notice at what point the house itself was built. Uh, and regarding the, I think the, I think this is more of a sorority thing. So it's not just a, a house where they live. It's uh, they have like social events, academic events, uh, more than just sleeping in a big house. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah. I'm a little biased with this because I am really familiar with sorority housing and that kind of thing. Um, so I would say it's something like a dorm because it is actually where you live on campus and like a dorm, it's where you hang out with your friends and do all sorts of stuff like you would at home. For the second question, I, I think they said 18 something. 23. But I, I'm not good with dates. Um, so I'm not absolutely sure on that one. We think we think 1823, maybe. Does it ring any bell for anybody else? I thought 1893. Bravo. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's probably, yeah. Uh -huh. that's... Yeah, that's I'm thinking as well the first question is uh, because of sisterhood, they said, it's, uh, that's why I think true. And the second one, uh, they said 1855. 1895. So 18, 1893 was when the alpha group was there, like the house built in 1855. Oh, but, uh, I, good student right there taking good notes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank God it's not a multiple choice like question. It's just like true or false. So you guys are off the hook. <laughs> um, mm. But yeah, if we have nothing else, I guess we can move on to the next part.